Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back to another video. I said this in the end of my last video, but I understand that probably no one actually watches to the end, or watches in general. But if you ever watch to the end, I would really appreciate it, because I do say a lot of, like, <laughs> things saying thank you and stuff. But you should start saying it in the beginning of the video, because then if you actually click it, you might see this part. But I recently hit 5,000 subscribers, and I cannot even begin to tell you how appreciative I am of anyone who subscribes to my channel. I would give each and every one of you a hug, if that was, is that weird? Probably is a little too weird. 5,000 people, 5,000 hugs, hey. Take a long time, even though in this, today, you really shouldn't be hugging anyway, so forget I even said that. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. I should actually be wearing a mask now. I don't know. What am I saying here? Okay. So, today is going to be Chicken Foot. My first Chicken Foot song. Of course, Chicken Foot, super group. Joe Satriani. The Guitar Virtuoso. Uh, Sammy Hagar, which Van ex Van Halen member. Michael Anthony on bass, ex Van Halen member. And Chad Smith. Current Van, uh, current Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer. Okay, boo boo. boo. That was enough of the description of who they are. Because if you didn't know who Chicken Foot was, you wouldn't have actually opened this video. So, this is going to be a quicker one, even though I've been rambling on for about 15 minutes already. This is going to be a quick one because it's going to be the main riff of Soap on a Rope. Just the main riff. That one. Yeah. If you didn't know, that that was how you sing it with words. Yeah. Yeah. So, Soap on a Rope by Chicken Foot. Stick around. So, Chicken Foot, Soap on a Rope, the main riff. Um, I'm not going to attempt to te teach the solo or any other parts, because I'm not going to do them justice, justice if I do try. So, I learned the main riff when it first came out a long time ago, and I just remembered that song, and I said, Oh, that's a pretty cool riff. So, I figured here we go. Here it is. Okay. It's pretty, even though I just kind of messed it up twice, it's pretty simple. You know, Joe Satriani doesn't play many simple things, so, you know, when you, when you get a cool-sounding riff and it's not that hard to play and it's by Joe Satriani, you usually want to try to learn it. Uh, okay, so it starts off with open E to third fret on the E to open, but uh, hammer on pull off. So. so open to three to open, hammer on pull off. To second fret on the D to open E, low E. So. You're going to do the open hammer on to the three pull off thing again to open A to open E. So. Then again with the open hammer on to three open thing to D A E power chords. D once, A once, E twice. Okay, so that's it. Bye. No. There's another, uh, there's a variation of how he does it. Okay, so um, the variation of how he does it, I think after the second time, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Instead of, you do the the same way, but instead of you slide, you slide from um, to the ninth fret on the A, and then you catch the seventh fret on the D, so that kind of covers the D, sh D power chord. So slide to nine on the A, and hit the seven on the G. And then you kind of hit an open A to slide to the seventh on the A. So. 
You don't really have to hit. I've seen tab. I, it's, I'm kind of going by a tab I saw for this, how you hit the open A. I kind of don't hit the open A, but maybe that's in the song and I can't really hear it. But you slide nine, nine on the A to seven on the G. Then I just slide to the seven on the A to uh, seven on the D. Kind of sounds weird because when I used to play it, I said, is that even right? But I guess it, to me it sounds kind of strange, but it covers the A. So it's like you're covering the D, you're covering the A, and then you end again with the power chord, the uh, E power chord. So. That sounded horrible. Yeah, so slide nine. To the um, on the A string to seven on the G string, G string, and then seven on the A to seven on the D string. So se nine, seven, 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 and then you end on the the E. So what that lick, the lick is representing the D and the A. So because that's like an A power chord, that's like a D. So yeah, so it's just yeah, you know, okay. You do that too. Um, that little, see how I did it fast? There's that little, it's, it's the same lick, but it's faster. You know, I, I'm, I'm muting that E because it ring when the low E rings out, I, I try to keep muting it. That's why it sounds like, yeah, so um, you do it faster one time too. So you do it normal speed, and then I think on like the fourth time or fifth time, you do it faster. Like that. But it's the same lick, but you just do it faster. Okay, that's enough. Okay, the only other part I, I'm going to try to show a little bit of, but it, it might take too long to show it all that. That part. I'm going to show the first one. And then once you get the first one down, the pattern of the first one, you can kind of just judge the pattern of the rest of it. Like, it, it seems, if you're new to the song and you hear it, you're like, oh, what's that little, what's that run that he does? It sounds kind of confusing at first, I guess, for someone that, you know, if you never played it before, then, then you realize it's not as confusing as it's, you know, sounds. But it's like... <laughs> show that and then the rest of it is kind of off of that so you can kind of just figure it out on yourself on your own because the next one okay i'll show this first okay what it is is open e two three four e now you're ending on the four so you hit the four again so starting so so open two three four Four, open A, one, two on the A. Then you ended there on the two, so you start on the two. Then you go two, three, four, five on the A. So the, so you see the, the little pattern is like a four note pattern, and when whatever you end on, you start on, like a chromatic pattern. Like in order with no uh, all, no, not skipping a step. Like you go them in order, chromatic, obviously. Um, yeah, so it's like four notes in a row, and then on the fourth note you end on, you start on on the next one. <laughs> that makes sense. So. Except, I guess, sorry that I just said that, because on this one you actually don't start on the fifth, you go to the fourth. So on the first three uh, runs, you do start on the last one. But on this one, you go back to the fourth fret. So you go four, five, six, seven on the last one.
And then you go. Fifth fret on the D. Seventh fret on the A. Seventh fret on the D. Seventh fret on the A. Fifth fret on the D. Seventh fret on the A. Fifth fret on the A. It's a hammer on on the seventh fret of the A. So. Oh, sorry. Okay, so now the reason why I say I'm going to just show that is because, number one, it'll take too long to show the rest of them. And number two, once you know that's the pattern, you can kind of figure out what he does next. Because the next one, like on this, it's the root of the E. So, okay. Next will be the root on the A, but the exact same pattern. So, A, I mean, open A, 2, 3, 4, just like open E, 2, 3, 4. So, open A, 2, 3, 4, 4, open D, I mean, open G. No, open, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, open D. Yeah, so, yeah, open D. Just like even the end run, even the end riff is the exact same way, except it's down a string. Okay, the only the only difference so so the first two are easy because you start on the open strings, open E, you start, that's the pattern. Open A, you start, that's the pattern. Then you get up to the upper higher up here. It's the same pattern, but you can kind of figure it out yourself and it would kind of take too long. Because I wanna I don't wanna have this video be like 20 minutes long, so. Yeah, so uh, once you get that first pattern done, and like I said, it's almost exactly four chromatic in an order, four notes in a row. You end on that last note, you start on the ne that same note in the second run, except, of course, the last one, but <laughs> you'll, you'll see that. It, I made it way more confusing than it had to be, and I apologize. Anyways, that was Soap on a Rope. Okay, so that was um, Soap on a Rope by Chickenfoot. Sorry, Joe Satriani. I know I, you know, you would have been like, wow, you taught that horribly. And I, I did. Yeah, I definitely did. So I apologize, Joe Satriani. Of course, I know you're watching out there. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. My name's Joe. You know. Hey, hey. Hey, Joe, you know. My name's Joe. Hey, Joe. You know. Uh, I don't know. Hey, Joe by Jimi Hendrix. Uh, yeah, so sorry about that. Um, anyways, that was Soap on a Rope. If you did like it, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe down below. See you later. Gadoosh.